Oh god, another cutscene with Galcian and Ramirez. Excellent. Oh, this is a long cutscene. Here we get to meet all the admirals of the Imperial Armada. We already know who one of them is. Oh, I really just want to tap A constantly and get through this. <laughs> okay. You were betrayed by your own vice captain, eh? Bullshit! The second admiral is Gregorio. The third admiral is Johnny Bravo. Or Figaro, sorry. <laughs> How old is she? Is she good looking? Does she wear leather? I like my women wild and crazy. <laughs> And the fourth one is a chick. You're out of luck, my girl. The girl is the exact opposite. She's very shy and demure. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> and my favorite, the loco. Well, I guess he has to be your favorite. <laughs> Moon crystals? What's a moon crystal? Our new ally, eh? Six moon crystals. Hmm. Well, what's this? Alfonso's getting his comeuppance. <laughs> Got lightning report and his punishment. You are relieved. Your position as commander of the mid ocean fleet. And for an infinite period, indefinite period, thing. Ex attacker. Huh? Hmm. I wonder where ex attacker is. Oh, God. Oh dear. Serves you right, Alfonso, you arrogant ballbag. Alfonso really is like the one of the most detestable characters ever. He's just got he's just that type of character, you know. Oh dear, look at this! Yeah, the skies are shy, aren't they? I suppose so. The yellow moonstone is, has the power of lightning, so the yellow moon, which is above Valua, always does this, which makes sense. The palace... Upper city? Hmm. Very rich, blah blah blah. Wipe their ass with toilet week twenties now they're there. Wow. And there's Lore City. Where they make everyone live in shit. Which is very lame, but we're gonna go to Lore City. Which is good because I'd rather have everyone depressed about their own little recession than Ugh. I don't like Valua. <laughs> It looks worse up close. Everything is so dirty and run down, and it smells like garbage. Very nice, Aika. Very nice. We still need to check the place out. We need to find a way to save Dad and the others. Captain, what do you think we should do? Hmm. I'm returning to the docks. I'll be observing the installation of the harpoon cannon. Uh -huh. Let's split up. Ike and I will check out the city while you get your cannon. When we're done, we'll be back hmm. at the end. Alright. I really like this music. Right, again, I hope this isn't too dark. Uh, talk to all the depressed folk and shit. Right, there's a few treasure chests to get. This guy's always watching Upper City. Get arrest, mate. And uh, 
There's sort of a secret area, I remember. These are just shops here, if I remember correctly. Well, I don't think this is a shop. It's not a shop, it's some sort of, I don't know, orphanage or something. This is my favourite character in the whole game. Well, even though life here is hard, really hard, there aren't many, and there aren't many pleasantries. I never want to forget how to smile. If you forget how to smile, you'll never have anything to look forward to again. I think the world would be a better place if everyone was like this chick. If I was living in Arcadia, I would marry her. Okay, moving on. Uh, we go here, I believe, to get a treasure chest. What we got? Sacris crystals times two. We don't really need to buy any healing items, we've got quite a lot. I would, however, like to check out the armory, the weapon shop and that, if I can remember where they are. Uh, which I obviously cannot. They're up there, aren't they? Is there stairs here, maybe? Yeah, there is. There's also a ship parts merchant, but we're not going to talk to him just yet. Uh, buy and sell weapons. Buy. Right, so we're going to buy this new boomerang for Ica. Oh crap, there isn't a sword for Vise, but not to worry. And uh, the hook can should we bother buying that? Uh, trying to think here what would be suitable. We'll not bother with accessories actually. Valuan armor. I'll buy one for Vise and I can't Buy one for. Aye, right, we'll give them both to. There's no armor for Ika though, which is bad because she really needs one. Aye, right, we'll just buy this for Dragma. All right, for now let's sell our old weapons. Ika's Ika's favorite boomerang. It's large but light and relatively easy to aim. We're gonna sell it. And we're going to sell Dragma's artificial arm, even though it's going to be in every cutscene until the end of the game. Vise's uniform, given to him by his father, sold. Dragma's shirt, worn by years of hard work. It's probably very smelly, so we'll sell it. I like to keep the accessories just in case. Just in case. Yeah, that'll do. That should be the sh no the ship merchant guy isn't here. I don't know. Right, I would actually really like to find some armor for Ica since we didn't buy one there. I know Vise gets a new sword in a the next dungeon coming up though, so that's okay. Hmm, who are you? This guy's a right Ned, non-educated delinquent. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, it's obnoxious. Yeah, this guy remains. This is my least favorite character, yeah. You should go talk to that little optimistic lassie in the house there, you know? Uh, try to remember where to go. 
Let's go down this lift for now. To the lower part of Lore City! Oh wow!